So basically the news has come out that 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 Telltale's Game of Thrones season two is currently on hold. And when uh, and and when the uh, Telltale's creative communications head um a uh, head job so, um a uh, head job Stouffer was was um asked about it by your all gamer, he went on to say that you know is that basic well in so many words is that not long after the conclusion of the first season we said we would uh, we would be continuing. And we had design, um, a de designs on uh, on the future of of Telltale's Game Game of Thrones. Right now, it's on uh, it's on hold. We're anxious to get back in uh, into Wolf Among Us, Walking Dead, and Batman, and see where things go with with the narrative. Game of Thrones, um, uh, the Game of Thrones t TV show, be um. Uh, uh, we kind of want to finish that before, um, uh, before we get back, back, back to the table with something we're excited about. So basically, for what he's saying is that looking at what they've done with the Batman series and looking at what they've done with the recent um, Walking Dead season three, and of course Wolf Among Us being um, uh, being announced back, I believe back in July of this year. Is that basically he's saying that they got their hands full, like they're like just writing stories for basically every game that they come across. So again, they're just gonna wait, wait until the TV show's done, and they're just gonna go from there because again, they don't want to just start putting things out there. Then it clashes with the TV series, and then you gotta do what you do whenever you look at the Walking Dead dead games because the games. In a sense, are kind of in a sweet spot because they take place during during the comic stories, and they're and they are away from Rick and his people. Like I think they're like on I, I think they're like somewhere far out. Like um, I think they're still in like near uh, Savannah and everything. So they're far away from where um, where um, Rick and everybody else is uh, um, uh, um, else is at. So they can do that with those stories. Wolf Among Us, on the other hand, since that's just a piece of fables, you know, like the fables comic books. You know, like it's it's easier to just talk about Bigsby Wolf, especially since that he plays such a small part in those comics. I mean, like he's there. Him and say like him and Snow White, like they're there, but they play such a small part in the fables comics. Well, especially since I believe that those comics are just about their day 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 lives. It's not really about like a narrative and a story, you know. But also since that. Walking Dead, um, uh, no, Wolf Among Us season one, like that, that did end off like with a very interesting cliffhanger, which I still believe a lot of people that they haven't really figured it out yet, you know, especially since that, um, the Little Mermaid had basically lied, you know, and everything. So that is something, but also on top of that is that I'm really interested to kind of, to kind of see where Batman goes, especially after season two. Well, I think they're still working on season two, but. That is what I gotta say about that. Tell me what do you think about this down there in the comment section. And I'm gonna move on to my next story, which really is a real doozy, which I can sum up pretty quickly. So let's jump right into that. So Rockstar is bringing LA Noir to, to, to the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, and also um, Xbox One and VR. According to what like they also announced about that, Rockstar went on to say that um, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One versions of the game will will deliver the complete original game game and all additional downloadable content with a range of technical enhancements and greater in, um, visual fidelity and authenticity, including 4K support. Uh, including 4K support for the Xbox One X and the PlayStation Pro. The say, uh, on the Nintendo Switch, Switch, Switch. The game will uh, be announced. Uh, it will have motion and touch, touch controls. So basically, they are pulling out every stop that that they can to try and make that game as great as possible and make people really want to go out and get that game. You know, so it's coming November 14th. So keep an eye out for that. 
The only thing that I, uh, I do believe that they also said something about that there's supposed to be a VR spinoff called um, L.A. Noir, the visual, so, um, uh, the VR case files, you know, which will include seven, um, uh, seven self, self-contained self stories from the original game to be redesigned in VR. So, yeah, they're putting the extra muscle in this to try and resell it to make it way more than most remakes or or bundle collections or whatever you want to call it but truth be told there's only one thing that I really wanted for this and it's I kind of want a alternate ending and a, an alternate ending where basically um, certain things they don't play out the way how that you would expect them to I kind of would have just liked like things to kind of go more on a right path instead of it ending in a way where where it feels like nothing changed and and all that hard hard work and dedication which that you put into stopping all of these crimes that they just faded off somewhere you know so that's kind of how i feel about it but until then please tell me what do you think about this down in the comment section see you next time i'm out